Canada geese overrun the Ottawa D&D campus during their annual invasion. D&D is not Dungeons and Dragons. That is Department of National Defense, just to be clear. Yeah. Um, that'd be <laughs> wild, though, if these geese were just fucking up a live action role play of D&D. That would be equally as like back page or if there was just like a headquarters for D and D and it was like (laughs) the people I like the people who run the D and D it's just a legit fucking battle (laughs) now (laughs) yeah the the generals are all just playing a session and each of them have to pick a different country that we're enemies with to play yep (laughs) (laughs) you don't think that's funny (laughs) one guy's China okay okay, one guy's Russia like risk. Gotta, he's, he's tying it back to national defense. Yeah, no, I yeah. got it. I, it was right over there at one point. So but. breeding season <laughs> is a this. It's, it said annually. So does this happen every year? Every breeding? spring. Every spring. Yeah, breeding they come season back for the geese. Right. Yeah. They have to deal with this issue. Yeah. So the West End campus here in Ottawa, just on Carling. Um, yeah, they get testy, man, with the employees, and the employees are told to. It's just funny that they have like <laughs> the Department of National Defense is has to like give defense advice to our national bird. Like, you know what I mean? Is it the national? It really be your own sometimes, it man. Really <laughs> be your yeah. Own people, man. It's always an inside job. <laughs> it's crazy though because they've told them, you know, don't run. Don't run. That's what they want you to do. You got to stand your ground. You got to make a lot of noise. You got to get big. The way that quote <laughs> reads though, where it says they tell their employees, like, don't run, stand your ground. What's the exact quote? Maintain eye contact. Give them space, as much space as you can. <laughs> they co- do come toward you aggressively. Do not run. That is exactly what they want you to do. Like, is that an actual tip or is that just him being like, don't fucking run, man. They want you to run. <laughs> they don't want you to do that. Like, maybe you should be running, but they're just like, no, don't be a bitch. Like, fucking stand your ground. Don't run away. You're the Department of National Defense. Don't like how bad of a look of that now is if CBC has an article about like this guy getting chased down by like a geese and he's running away. Like is I'm trying to figure out what the actual reason is as to why you're not supposed to run. Because I know for bears that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Don't run. But that's a legitimate wildlife tip right there. You turn your back to them. Yeah, and you're toast. They'll come and get you're you. Toast. Yeah, you're I spo- assume it's the same shit with you these so? geese, bro. They're yeah. fucked up, man. Cobra I, chickens. That's it what says this if you stand says. your ground more often than not, they won't attack you. You gotta yeah. stand your ground, man. I back home, we used to go hang at our family friends every like sp- uh, every like fall. Go it's hang. Hanging. You you just you get the hay bales off the field and into the barn. Anyways, our family friends had a neighbor, my boy Jade Turner. He couldn't say his ours. Couldn't say his R's even when he graduated that high sucks, school. You guys love your R's. Yeah, I know. And so <laughs> his sister Wobbin Tuna, she would like she would square I'm up. Sorry, her sister Wobbin. Um, <laughs> she used to like they had the geese in their yard. Yeah, a couple of them, and she would just box with Wait, them, like bro. They just were yeah, they had like pet, like pet geese, geese, bro, and they because they were like guard geese, and she just like square up with them, bro. Straight up. Just I watched for funsies? Her, like, literally like Isn't that two a federal v one. Two v one. She was kinda like ducking and weaving these things. This one came out, she like, kinda elbowed it. This other one she like, grabbed it and like kinda whipped it into the other one. It's isn't, crazy shit. Isn't that a federal crime? No, they weren't candy geese, they're just regular geese. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, okay. it's chill. It was chill, <laughs> I think. It was a good like it was entertaining, man. It was entertaining. But they they resided in Canada. E- yeah, on this farm. So technically, they're on, 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 but they have on American Jade. citizenship. Okay. Yeah, yeah. on Jade Tuna's farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they live. I like whenever you tell stories about back home, your accent just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah it's, it's wild. Crazy, <laughs> His sister Wobbin. <laughs> she used to be crazy, dude. Yeah, she she was she just boxed with them, bro. And do you know what? Do you know who that she turned out to be? Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Dude, you're like six she's months right. of DMT away from Theo Vaughn. <laughs> she's she's in jail now. <laughs> Damn. No, I don't. I don't for, know. for boxing geese. I, I don't know. I, one time I was driving on the Heron Bridge and like like cause I, I'm not a big fan of geese. They are scary as fuck. But like, see how it's gone. <laughs> the accent it's still a little there. It's you always so? been there, but okay. but it, it comes in waves you know I mean? for sure. We'll oh see, yeah, we'll see it in post. I, I, in it's post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I I've I like geese. Like they always test me, man. Always mm. test me. I've always been like walking by geese, and it's like they know I'm there. They come and just like 
fuck with me. Because I know who you associate with. I guess so, yeah, yeah. They know about my <laughs> this guy runs with Yobbin. Wobbin. 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 They know, dude. They, they travel. <laughs> Yobbin sounds like a mythical creature. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Word they, spreads quick in the geese community, bro. Yeah, I guess they travel, right? Yeah, They bro. travel. So, that's it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Apparently, because geese, Canadian geese are protected under the... Uh, where is it? Migratory Bird Convention Act. Where are you reading that? In the the, the one that is the okay. So yeah. So okay. Yeah. The MBCA. Uh, it allows you can't fuck with the geese, but you are allowed to move the nests. Apparently, so they have guys that are need permits to be. They're like pro nest movers. Right. Right. So it's like I want to try it. I think it'd be cool to get an interview with a nest mover. Because how do you? I feel like during breeding season. They're always at the nest. Like, why would a geese ever leave the nest? And when they do leave the nest, like, what's your plan of attack? And, like, when you do get the nest and you move it, how do you inform the geese of, like, where <laughs> you, you move the, the nest? You leave a letter. There's <laughs> an eviction notice <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> like, do you leave a trail of seed? Like, breadcrumbs? Yeah. Literal yeah. Breadcrumbs. Like, how do you, I don't understand. Yeah, how do you let the geese know? Or is yeah. it just an easter egg hunt now literally <laughs> and you're just yeah, like and you're relocating all these nests like how and you, like i assume you're gonna like you're not gonna take them to different areas i geese, bet you there's one central location you migrate these nests to <laughs> like the geese follow a trail and it's just some guy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh thanks for coming just like <laughs> keeping it warm for you <laughs> Imagine the guy that does that, that's been doing that job for 27 years, and he's just getting loaded, moving geese eggs or yeah, geese he, he eggs. he lied right? on his resume 27 years. There's no technique to it. He, <laughs> yeah. he made it up years ago. Like, this is this is a made-up job. He's the only one in the world. He's just friends with whoever wrote that law. Somehow, yeah. Like, yeah. He, yeah, he's securing. The law says one guy is allowed to move <laughs> the eggs. Yeah. Yeah. And then his My son. buddy Jeff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the most difficult permit to get in Canada. Yeah, exactly. One guy has it. He's responsible. Responsible for the whole nation too. Like. This is where all one percent of Canada's defense spending goes to. It's yeah. just this one guy. He is the Department of National Defense, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs>